school and culture when we are talking about the influence of the community on the culture of school and the influence of the culture of the community on school then we need to know what are the main characteristics of culture and which are the elementary concepts of culture what do we think is culture so the main characteristics of culture when we talk about these these are the ways and the behaviors people adopt to do certain things for example the culture could be the way people eat their meals it could also be how many times people eat their meals are they taking three meals a day is that the culture of the community or are they taking four meals a day how will this factor influence the school let's look at that okay if there is a community which is having four meals a day that means they are going to have one breakfast and maybe at 10 or 11 they are going to have another meal it could be a snack with a drink or it could be a proper meal in certain cultures there is a proper meal around 10 or 11 o'clock and then there can be a lunch which could be a late lunch with the family or without the family we have cultures where people have their lunch with the family we have cultures where people do not have their lunch with their families they may have their lunch by themselves and then there could be a culture where people are having an early dinner and there could be cultures where people are having late dinners how does this all affect the school yes it does because the school has to make a timetable according to the needs of the students for example if the community living near the school has a lifestyle of having four meals a day an early breakfast and then the students they come to the school by 10 or 11 o'clock the students are now hungry they need to have some energy therefore if the school is providing meals then it has to provide the meal at 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning for the students what type of meals are important for the students this has to be discussed with the community and so that the school knows what they have to offer to the children in case the school is not offering meals then also the school needs to know what time the students would need a break to eat their food in that case probably the school has to arrange that type of food in the canteen it has been noticed in many schools that the canteen does not fulfill the needs of the students food for example the canteen might be providing sweets chocolates carbonated drinks which are hygienically not good for the students they would be needing something which has energy for them because maybe they had a very early breakfast and then they had a tough schedule of school in the morning which includes assembly and sometimes the students they stand for half an hour in the assembly now they are physically tired and by 10 to 11 they need something which should provide them energy if the school is not providing meals but it has to cater for the needs of the students and this delivery should be done by the canteen authorities the school needs to check and find out what the canteen is offering to the students as food during the breaks so that means they will be needing some milk probably they will be needing some bread at that time or rice and in most of the countries abroad it has been a routine that they would provide proper food to the students even if the school is not providing the meals still in the canteen or the cafeteria they would provide proper 
food like for example rice, bread, milk and fresh juice for the students to have a proper meal. Elementary concepts of culture, we would be talking about it later and give some examples on that.